Welcome back. Now we've moved on to logarithm rules. If you remember, go back to the intro video to this module. You can learn all about logarithms, how they relate to exponents. But we're going to start looking at some of the laws that apply to them. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the product law, so-called product law. Basically, let's say I have a logarithm. And remember, if I'm talking about a log or ln, where ln is the natural logarithm or log to the base e, these rules are going to be the same. So if I have log, also remember if I don't write to the base, it's usually assumed to the base 10. But I keep digressing. Log to say a times b. I have log of something that could be split into a times b. You can rewrite this as log of a plus log of b. And again, this would apply to any base. If I had log to the base 10, if I had log to the base 3, log to the base e or ln, well, this rule would still apply for all of those cases. It would just be the same base. So ln of a to b would be split to ln of a plus ln of b. So this is the basic product rule. And really we use it to try and simplify cases sometimes. Sometimes we don't have to want to punch log into our calculator, or maybe we don't have a calculator that's broken, or it's to a weird base we can't do without doing a change of base. So, let's take a look at an example. Let's say, I'm going to start with kind of a weird one. Normally you'd go this direction, but you can go either direction. You can convert this into this, or this into this. So let's say, I don't know, I had something like log, oops, oops if I actually write it correctly, Helps if I can erase as well, but so we got log, and I'm going to go to the base 27. Calculator doesn't have that. Well, some might, but a lot don't. So I have log to the base 27 of 3 plus log to the base 27 of 9. Since they're the same base, I can use my product rule. Because I can rewrite this then as log still to the base 27. Remember the base stays the same. And now this is the same as 3 times 9. Hmm. Why is that useful? Because log to the 27 of 27. And remember, we looked at that in the intro video. To tw 27 to the power of what equals 27? 1. This simply equals 1. Whereas if I didn't have a calculator that could punch into the base 27, or even if I did, okay, I'm going to punch it in and eventually get this answer. Well, this simplified it. Now, again, a lot of times you're actually going to go from a product to the summation to make life easy. Because maybe, hmm, let's think of an example. If I had something like log to the base even 2 of, let's go, 8. I mean, we could probably try and think this through. 2 to the power of what is equal to 8, and we might figure out the answer right away. But I could also rewrite this out as log to base 2, and think of this instead as, say, 2 times 2 times 2. Because I could split this up multiple times. This is something I haven't talked about. What if I had three products? Well, this could be split into three logs. So if I really want, I can think of this as log to the base 2 of 2 plus log to the base 2 of 2 and plus log to the base 2 of 2. Well, once again, just like this was, these are all going to be 1. So this is the same as writing 1 plus 1 plus 1, or 3. So log of 2 to the base, or 2 of 8, is 3. And I think if that makes sense. 2 to the power of what is 8? Was it 3? Well, 2 times 2 times 2, that is 8. So it does match up, does seem correct. And this is just showing you the first of the logarithm laws, showing you some of the ways it might be used. So, see you in the next video.